down there like so it's only a bit of water ah hello guys welcome back to the farm another splendid day here we have got a few boxes pallets going so we're gonna need to um transfer these to the relevant places um the sunflower obviously we do have two there but at the minute it's stopped because we've run out of sunflowers we do have a pallet of sunflower oil up there which i did think i mentioned last episode um the potatoes are going well look we've got two boxes in fact it's more than two boxes because there's four boxes on no there's not there's eight boxes isn't there i cannot count eight boxes on a pallet so we've got two pallets of potatoes they're okay i think we'll leave them be but we've got all these potatoes to load up and put into there lettuce and tomatoes can go at the top with the sunflowers so i think what we need to do is grab the forked lift and hook that trailer up to the back it's going to be a case of loading up those pallets let's just lift the forks up but yeah i'm hoping this is going to be the start of some decent money coming in now things are starting to look up and they are producing a lot quicker now we've added the seeds and manure so that was definitely worthwhile doing that even though it did cost us a little bit especially on the seed side but you know as everyone knows you've got to speculate to accumulate right um, no that's what I wanted to do for the potatoes let's see if we can did i try this before i think i did and i did i fail miserably i can't remember now that was a big failure wasn't it there right we're going to see if we can get away with just doing this for the potatoes so we'll get those loaded up over here maybe we could sell the premium potatoes i think we're going to chuck everything out on our market store at the front there so that it gives us the best chance of getting some decent return as i said before keep it all in house if we can unless the prices are obviously through the roof somewhere else um I think that's what I did last time very very dodgy do not try this at home kids this is not the way to pick up pallets but yeah this is really really impressive certainly going to keep us busy i hope it's not going to keep us too busy that it keeps us off of our fields because that is not what we want but at the same time we do want to be making money and this forklift was another fantastic investment right, it's just making life so much easier Right, well, what I think I'll do, guys, is I'll get the rest of the spuds loaded up into here. Um, I will get the pallets of lettuce, tomato, etc., sunflowers loaded up onto the back of that trailer. We'll head on up to the other two production units. We'll grab what's up there. I'm not sure what we've got in terms of mixed salad. 
but whatever's up there I think we'll load it up onto the trailer and we'll bring it down and we'll chuck it on the market stall there out the front and hopefully father-in-law can sell us some goods so yeah I will see you in a little bit right just the last sunflower palette and then we can head on up to the top should be able to split the sort of forks between the back of the trailer there which is what I did on the other side fantastic this forklift honestly I love it right let's I'll tell you what, let's lift them up a bit we'll hook up to that and let's get some straps on before we go too mad that'll be fine right let's head on right let's not go through the silo <laughs> let's not make that mistake again go through the main entrance yes yeah, quite a few things that need to be sort of starting to get done now on the farm which is good so it's definitely going to keep us busy and you know, all these pallets and produce productions they are going to keep us very busy as well um, can I that is the question with that pallet there I may just push that out a little bit there we go I'm just going to try and go through there like so there we go let's get oh I can't get round let's unstrap that oh I don't think we're quite in the zone with that second one this is going to be challenging now isn't it here we are are we there there we go they're going they're going and they are gone awesome next up on the list the tomatoes and lettuce let's get right in there there we go that should be enough hopefully get the straps off of those as well so yeah hopefully that will all kick in again especially the sunflowers two pallets there of mixed salad obviously the one of sunflower oil sunflowers are going to be a little bit um, more slower I think in the process but I think they are going to be worth quite a bit of money let's get the forks up off the deck would help right let's get these three loaded up um, I think if we pull them in again like so we'll just we'll see if we can load can we lift these two together let's right what's going on we've got the forks a bit of an angle still getting used to the forklift yes we can right steady as she goes we can put some straps over these that's not a problem just worried it's a bit bumpy up here if we hit a bump we're gonna have more than mixed salad on our hands right let's get a strap over that let's get two over that actually that's good right sunflowers next I don't know how much we're gonna get from these but 
I know some of the supermarkets have been um, crying out for some of this stuff so that is why we've jumped on it trying to produce it ourselves obviously the world we live in at the minute it's gone a bit crazy everything I'll pop that over there very cool though those bottles right let's take this down to the market store father-in-law can sort that out Um, another thing, well, a list of things that need to be done, and it's not all going to be done this episode, is the sort of weird shaped field we've got. I kind of like call it the horseshoe or the U shaped field. That needs liming, so that's a job we need to do. Um, barley's still looking good right where are we go a market stall round into here let's go that view whoa look at that money coming in 11 and a half grand there you go that keep you busy chief I swear he doesn't like me but <laughs> what can you do anyway right so that is this setup finished with so we could probably park this down in under here and put the trailer I think we'll just leave it connected for now just something like that will probably do I think yeah that'll do me Forks down. Awesome. Love it. Absolutely love it. Um, one of the other things I want to do today um, to try and generate a bit of more money is we are going to get ready for cows. We're going to start getting ready for the cows. So by that, I'm going to go up to the shop. I'm going to purchase a feed mixer so that we can mix up our silage and hay bales i'm not going to go all modern and fancy with the mineral feed we're just going to go old-fashioned hay silage like they used to do in the old days that is the way i was taught so we're going to do that but i think we've had these bales here for quite some time i know they would get used eventually especially if we've got cows going but i think for the amount of time that they've been sat there and us being able to actually get some more bells either making ourselves or through doing a contract again like we did to get these guys I think we might as well sell what we don't use when we mix everything up um, so yeah I think we're gonna do that so we're gonna have to probably lease some sort of bell loader and load it all up that would take a little bit of a while I'll check where the best prices are um, to sell them. That is going to generate some money, hopefully quite a bit. I'm not sure how much, but um, we do have, what's that, that's seeds. We have a bit of lime there. I don't think there was a lot left in there. So, yeah, that is the plan. So, right, let's not beat around the bush. Let's grab the John Deere. We'll head on up to the shop. I know they have got a couple of um, feed mixers in but I don't want to be spending too much money I don't want anything too big either because we're not going to be able to afford to buy a load of cows we're not going to be able to max out that pen which is going to be fine because it's going to take a while for us to adjust and get used to having cows again on the farm I mean we haven't certainly seen them since we've been here but I know grandfather had them and um, that was quite a while ago so yeah I need to be able to sort of 
get adjusted again to that. I only helped him out a few times with the cows. But that should be good because hopefully they will produce some manure so we can use that either on our fields or in the little open air gardens out the front. Slurry, again, we can either sell that or use it on our fields. And of course, milk. That is going to be nice to be able to sell some milk to the local supermarkets and shops. Right, Michelle, where are you? Come on. Right, so we've just bought this, guys. Just under 20,000, so a little bit pricey, but I knew it was going to be because it is a decent bit of kit. It's only a small one, I think it was 12 thousand litres that's probably what the 120 stands for but we've got ourselves the shooter maker bird to go so nice looking good size for our farm it does unload right or left which is cool nothing at the rear so ooh, let's go up the steps would be better yeah so that's pretty cool I know again that's Oh dear, I've still got this on. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, well, I tell you what, that can stay up here. They won't mind. We will need that at some point when we lime that field. Definitely going to need to buy some more lime as well. So I'm going to have to pop up here with the case tractor and our big bag lifter. And the other trailer that we just used to get some more um, lime, some big bags of lime. Because obviously there is that machine there that we can use, but we haven't got any stones. We haven't, you know, done anything like that for a while. So I can't see us using that lime um, producer, whatever it's called, for some time. We do only have that spreader on hire as well, I must remember that. I don't want to be paying out too much for that. I know we could probably could have leased this feed mixer as well, but if we are going into cows, it'd be nice to have one on our farm. There's nothing like owning your own equipment instead of just leasing everything all the time. Right, so I think if we we've got more silage bells, haven't we? So let's go round the we'll park up over here. Something like that, I think. Yeah. That would do we'd turn on the mixer. Just about hear that going. Right, let's grab the case. We need the front loader, a bell spike. And then we'll grab some hay bells from the top. Uh, bell spikes there. Um, I'll tell you what would have been good actually if I'd remembered to remove that spreader is to put that on the back and use that as a weight. But we're going to have to use this weight. I'm hoping that is beefy enough to be able to grab two hay bales just to try and save us some time. Come on chicks, out the way. And there we go. And obviously we do have the straw bales as well, but that is going to be used for the bedding for the cows. And we've still got loads of room up here, but we're not going to overcrowd it. Um, right, so we want to try and get that bell down there. Right, so far so good. We need to go very, very steady though. This is where we could have our little accident. Just 
gently does it. There we go. Happy days. And all I'm going to do is one and one. So one hay bale, one silage bale, and that should be enough. Now, obviously, the bales are bigger than what our feed mixer will hold. But I'm hoping, oh, that's fell off. I don't think I had hold of that properly. Come on, there we go, that should be it. Yeah, I'm hoping that the feed mixer will mix as we go. And whatever we do mix up, we're gonna tip in our silo so that we are absolutely ready. I'm gonna change to that angle because can't see what I'm doing properly. Right, so there you go. There's one hay bale in. Now this first silage bale was a smaller size, if you remember. So I'm hoping it's still going to be a good mix. We'll soon find out. Yes, yeah, so that's a five thousand. That should be alright actually, that should be absolutely fine. So as you can see that is just purely churned up the hay. What we want is a nice brown texture. Let's cut open that belt. We don't want any plastic in there. So there's that one jump into John Deere there we go look at that now all we're going to do is tip this now into our silo and we've got TMR ready then to um, get from the silo for the cows which is pretty impressive So obviously even though this holds only holds 12,000 litres, if we've got more than that in bells, it's still going to mix it up as we're unloading. So it's going to be putting into our silo what the actual bells are worth, if that makes sense. Which is good, because we're not missing out on any TMR then. There we go, so there is the first load. Can I swing round? Nope, I can't. I'll go back through the silo. It's a very, very nasty bump there. I need to try and sort that out, I think. Right, back in here. Another hay bale. I think we've got five hay bales in total, so that is going to be five silage bales as well. So that's going to leave us a lot left to be able to sell. So that's pretty cool. I think I'll do this one and then I'll just cut until we sort of finished. And I'll tell you our grand total at the end. There we go, good shot. So this is a full size bale now. Also, I think... Oh no, maybe not. I'm, I'm talking gibberish now. Right, let's get this top one. There we go, happy days. Alright, let's bring that down. I need to cut that open as well. I don't know whew, where they've been wrapped up for quite some time. <coughs> Very potent. Uh, I don't know how cows eat that. But there you go. Right, and there is the second load. 
so yeah you see the bow is stayed on the top that's because it's only mixed up some of it because it's reached the 12,000 litre capacity as soon as we start doing that it should start churning it up more there we go yes it is working right guys I will get this finished off there's only three more mixes left to do and I'll bring you back in um, I may bring you back in once we've got some sort of bow loader off the shop I'm going to give them a quick ring actually and forewarn them see if they can source something out for us so I'll probably see you in a little while once I've mixed this up got the bow loader etc so yeah Ooh, steady on there chick chick yeah see you in a minute guys right we are all loaded up as you can see I managed to lease this off of the shop and I did a bit of forward thinking as well I took the case up to the shop with the big bag lifter it's all parked over there got that trailer put eight bags of lime onto that trailer and brought it back down here if unloaded it eight might probably be a bit too much we do have a tiny bit left in there but i don't think that's going to go very far so eight could be overkill but at least then we've got some um so yeah um the tmr 69,000 liters it's registering inside the silo in there that we have of tmr awesome just put the mixer over there for a minute um it probably could live in that end bay now or possibly inside somewhere i don't know we have plenty of storage we are going to take these to the animal dealer where we've sold bells before for that contract because that is the best price and that is what we are after so we are going to head down there and i'm hoping we get a decent amount we're going to cut across this field so yeah this is the field that needs liming the u-shaped thing i did say a while ago very early on that we may get rid of those trees i'm still in two minds whether to do that and just open it up more as a field a bigger field so and the tree line stuck in the middle of it but who knows we will head down here well look at the state of that field there they've let that go haven't they in fact everyone's letting their fields go what is happening two fields there next door to each other i may have to see if we can help them out earn a bit of money but then are we too busy to start helping other people out i'm not sure this person's looking after their field a little bit better look they've got lime on the go i don't think they've picked their stones out yet though we could do with them then we could make some lime ourselves <laughs> never mind right animal dealer so we need to turn right here i think and we are actually going to go past the field where I think we got these silage bales from I'm pretty sure it was this field here on the left wasn't it still a grass field look just coming up to the junction for the animal dealer so there we go and then in here is what we need right can we swing around it's over by those piles of wood I think that's wood isn't it I think it's somewhere around here I've no idea what we're going to get for this but it's better than them just sitting there I think isn't it so whoa 
60, nearly 62,000 euros. Oh, happy days. I was not expecting that. That has stunned me. Wow. Well, that is going to definitely help fund purchasing the cows, isn't it? Wow, that's awesome. See, all that money sat there. You know, we could have even got a better price maybe if we'd sold a bit earlier, but it's done now. Got ourselves nearly 62 grand. Right, I will head back to the shop. I'm going to off hire this trailer. Don't want to be paying for it any more than we actually need it. And I'll see you back down the farm. I think we'll line that field and I think we'll call it there for the morning's work. Right, just heading back down into the farm from the shop. Picked up the fertilizer spreader again. I really do think we should invest somewhere in a spreader that can do lime and fertilizer. Something that's gonna be worthwhile for the farm because this one we've got, it's not got a huge capacity. Now I'm pretty sure that we are gonna end up having to um let's see if we can unload this fertilizer not enough space right i'm gonna have to unload it out here then guys and sort that out i guess some point is it gonna let me unload here there we go um yeah uh, this doesn't hold a lot so i'm pretty sure oh there's a brick wall there <laughs> now I'm pretty sure that um, well, we actually had more than there than I thought we had so that's not too bad I thought we only had a few hundred liters and there we got 742 what am I trying to say we are going to have to do quite a few trips I think backwards and forwards to get this field limed because this spreader doesn't hold a lot and the lime is just going to vanish you know within seconds so I'm going to keep our eye open for something that's going to be a decent capacity that's what I'm trying to get at the grass field as well I think is ready to harvest when we are ready to do it whoa that is that's wider than I was expecting. That is ridiculous. That is definitely going to go down quick. My oh my. <laughs> We're not even going to get to the end, are we? That's alright though. It's going to do the job pretty quick, isn't it? So not a problem. I think we'll do this side next and then just fill in the blanks, I guess. I'm not too worried which bag it comes from. In fact, it did come from that first one, so that's okay. Come on chicks, out of the way. Look, they're trying to make a run for it up the road. <laughs> they just get everywhere, they make me laugh. They really do. And there we go, we can almost do a full width. I think we are, we're not missing any if I stay central. Any cars coming? I don't think so. Can we get to the end? Oh, tiny little bit in the corner and I hit the fence. Well, I think one more 
load should do that which is a lot better than I was expecting but like I say if we just had something that was a little bit bigger in capacity absolutely awesome spread width on it I mean I know we're not a million miles away from our farm but if we did end up buying a field somewhere if we got a cheap deal off of someone further away from our farm that's something that we need to consider right let's try and do that tiny little spot almost made it didn't we get this done here like so and then just this little bit that is brilliant and then that field is ready to go for a crop um, I have actually changed my mind now about the second this lower half of this horseshoe field this bit I've changed my mind about the potatoes because they are growing fantastic out the front there so we're not going to worry about that possibly might go for some sunflowers in all of this field so that will I know it will take a while for them to grow until we're ready to harvest but when they are ready to harvest that will give us a decent amount for the oil production and this one not quite decided yet but I will do but anyway, I think we will leave it there. Brilliant morning's work. Happy with what we've done. Everything is progressing. Really happy with the production side, how that's coming along. It's all good. Very, very good. And like I say, we're working towards getting cows very soon. But that is it from me and our farm here, guys. Hope you have all enjoyed the episode. If you have, please give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, then please do. And don't forget to smash that bell so you don't miss any future videos of mine. I've been Farm Sim Snowy. Stay frosty.